Hi, this is Jason from bestsoccertricks.com and today I'll be showing you a solo passing and controlling drill. So the setup of this drill is we're gonna set up a small, well, a decent square in the, the middle of the field and then you're gonna put four gates uh, at four different places on the field and the point of this exercise is you're gonna start in the box and you're gonna kick the ball up, you're gonna control it, and you're gonna try to put the ball in between the gates. So that's gonna help your passing and your controlling. And it's also in a game situation when your back is towards goal and there's an opponent behind you to take a touch away from the defender and try to find your teammate. So I'm gonna do it now and show you my practice. So I hope you enjoyed this soccer controlling and passing drill. There's a few different variations you can add. One of them is just when you control the ball, instead of playing it right away, you could play it and play it into the other net, just so that in the game, if you're closed down by the fender, you know how to turn and get away and play the ball to your teammates. Another variation is just instead of always standing back to goal, since it's a square and all the nets are in diagonal, you could either play like this and then take a touch there or face the net, take touches however you want. So don't always do it back to goal, try different positions so that way in a game you'll also receive the ball face to goal and you practice different types of game situations. So I hope you enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe to bestsoccertricks.com. Thanks for watching.